So this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. I don't typically do these sort of videos, but I want to show you guys a product today called the EcoFlow Delta Pro. And what this is, is a solar generator. And the reason I want to show you guys this is because I think a lot of people are truly going to benefit from it. Uh, a lot of people that are looking to go off grid, uh, people that are already off grid, van lifers, RVers, or people that just want a backup power supply system for their home in case the power goes out from a storm. Um, but we're going to go through all the features of this. I'm going to test out a bunch of household appliances and show you guys how much power this thing truly has. But the main reason I wanted to do this video and that I wanted to show you guys this product is because I think that this is an absolute game changer when it comes to off-grid living. And I'm going to show you guys why. So EcoFlow has just come out with a 400 watt solar panel. And I like it because it comes in this hard sided case and it folds right up into it. Just like so. And that's really nice because it makes it a lot more compact and easy to tote around. So this is the cord that you're provided with, with the MC4 connectors. Very easy, they just snap right in. There's a positive, it snaps right in. The red cord's positive, the black is negative. Very easy. Uh, if you know nothing about solar panels, you should be able to do that, no problem. From there, you just have the one cord, and that plugs right into this port right here. So now this thing should be charging off of solar. So very easy to hook up, but let's see how well this thing charges from the panels now. So right now we're bringing in about 380 watts. I moved them up on the porch here because we're getting a little bit better sunlight right there. At 380 watts, it looks like it'll charge it in about six hours, which is pretty fast, but it is partly cloudy today. So in direct sunlight, it would charge it faster than that even. So we live in northern Minnesota, which isn't the greatest area for solar power. Uh, we have pretty dark winters, a lot of cloudy days. Um, so we'll probably be charging this thing from AC power quite often, especially as we roll into winter here. Um, so to charge it from AC power, all you do is plug it in to that port right there, and then into a cord end. Uh, we have our generator going right now because we live off grid. We do not have access to a, a, a standard wall outlet, so we gotta run the generator. Uh, to charge this thing but uh, at 1800 watts which is what it's set at right now it should be able to charge this thing in 2.3 hours so we're going to find out if that's true or not so as you can see we were bringing in about 1630 watts from our small generator it says it's going to take two hours i'm guessing it's going to take less time than that uh, but we'll charge this thing all the way up and then we'll test out some appliances on it. So you guys saw the solar charging option which hooks in here and you saw the AC charging option which hooks in right here. But there's also a third option which is really nice for you van lifers and RVers is you can charge this off your carport. So you can charge this while you're mobile. And that hooks in to the same port as the solar charging option. So you have three options to charge this unit which is really nice and really convenient. You also get this cord right here, which allows you to run some DC appliances, which is really nice as well. And there's this switch right here on the back of the generator. There's a fast option, which is at 1800 watts that comes from the factory, and this is for your AC charging. So the fast option is 1800 watts, which will charge it from 0% to 100% in 2.3 hours. Or there's this slow custom option. The slow option, I think, comes at 400 watts. And then the custom option, which you can, you can change this on the app, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But I turned mine uh, to 1400 watts using the custom feature. And the reason I did that was because our generator, which is a pretty small generator, just wasn't quite able to run it at the 1800 watts. Uh, but a standard wall outlet will run this just fine. So another thing you can do with this is there's two battery ports here. These are extra battery ports. So these open up like this, these two doors. And what these are for is EcoFlow cells, extra batteries that you can get for this unit, which is gonna give you that much more power. And they're very easy to hook up. Just one cord end comes from your batteries right in, and you have two of them. Easy to hook up, anybody can do it, and it gives you that much more power. So all those cords come with this when you order it. But one thing that I have been really impressed with actually is the owner's manual. You know, you can get owner's manuals sometimes, and they're, it's like a novel, just a bunch of nonsense. But I mean, this is like, what is it, 12 pages? And 
most of its pictures and it's just so easy to understand and it's, it's laid out so well. So if you don't know anything about solar power, about generators, anything, uh, you can follow, anybody can follow this. I mean, I read it before I started it up and it's right in order. Everything's nice and laid out. Uh, so I really appreciated that. So one of the coolest things about this is the display screen because it tells you everything that you need to know. Um, depending on what you're doing, different um, icons will show up on here. It all, it tells you what everything means right in the owner's manual, which is really nice. Um, but right now it's just showing that the battery is at 99%, it's full, um, and it'll run for 10 days with it just being on right now. Um, but on the front here, you have fast charging USB ports, you have a couple of other USB ports, uh, you have four 20 amp plugins, and a 30 amp uh, cord end here. Um, so you can run it, you know, like an RV or something with it. Uh, but you do have to turn these on, there's just a button here. So now those are, those are live now. You also have this side compartment here and you can see there's an Anderson port, a car outlet, a uh, couple of ports for running DC appliances. Uh, this is how you pair it to Bluetooth. Um, so some nice features on the side there as well. But the reason why this product is so sweet and I honestly consider getting it, um, not even hooking up our solar power system just because this thing does everything for you. This is all you need to run you know, a cabin, RV, whatever you're trying to run. Um, and it has all the protection already built inside, which is really nice. So you don't have to do any thinking, you don't have to do any research on sizing wires, none of that, um, you're protected. So that's really nice that everything is done for you. One thing that I think is worth mentioning is this thing does weigh about 100 pounds, um, but it does have wheels on the back, and then it has this handle so you can cart it around really easy. But I mean, any generator this size is gonna be heavy. So as far as how much power the EcoFlow Delta Pro has, it's 3,600 watts total, pure sine wave, and you do it does have a 7,200 watt surge, which is really nice for starting up bigger motors. So another thing that's obviously pretty sweet about this um, is that it is portable. Um, you know, the, so the solar power system that we have right now is not, it's a permanent install. This you can take anywhere. Um, I'm building a log cabin workshop this winter uh, or this fall. And uh, when I wanna go out there and work on stuff, I can just bring this out there, run all my power tools right off it. Um, so that's nice that you can just take it wherever you want, uh, wherever you need power. So I'll be able to run my entire workshop off this thing, all power tools, everything. So this is the EcoFlow app, and I've found it to be very user-friendly, and I'm not good with computers, and even I was able to understand this. Um, but easy to pair, it just has a pairing button on the side uh, you just connect with, it, it walks you right through it really easy. But as you can see, it tells you everything you need to know. It's showing that my battery's fully charged, what, uh, what temperature it's at, um, pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, but what I really like is how many different things you can change with it. Uh, this is where I changed the um, charge speed. Uh, like I said, it comes at 1800 watts. I, I turned it to 1400 because my generator was able to handle that. And it changes immediately. Um, I'll show you right now with the screen brightness. If I want to turn that down, I'll turn it down to, let's say, 19. I'll hit confirm. I mean, that's pretty much immediately. So um, that's it's really nice, really user-friendly. And uh, it's nice that you can change everything right from your phone. Well, I said I'm going to give an honest review. And uh, so far, I'm really impressed with everything. Uh, it's well-made. Everything seems solid. Uh, there's nothing chintzy about it. Um, I like all the different ways you can charge it. Um, I like uh, the app. I mean, so far I like everything, but let's test out some appliances now and uh, we'll find out uh, what this thing can do. Uh, but I don't know, Sierra, what do you want to test first? Should we try the fridge? Let's do it. All right, let's, let's cart it over there with the <laughs> handle feature here. Oh, it feels nice. Okay, I gotta scoot this out and unplug it, and then we'll plug it in to the Delta Pro. Okay, here's the fridge cord, just so you guys know there's no shenanigans going on. So with the fridge plugged in, it says it'll run it for one day, um, continuous, uh, it's running right now. Uh, but of course it's not gonna run continuous, once the fridge gets to temperature it'll shut off, but um, that's pretty impressive that it will run it continuously for that long. So. Should be able to run a refrigerator for uh, quite some time. All right, well, let's see how well this thing makes toast. It 
So it looks like it'll run the toaster for four hours continuously. That's pretty impressive. A toaster draws a lot. Anything that has a heating element in it draws quite a bit, so. All right, so we made toast and we only dropped 1% of the battery. So that is really impressive. All right, we'll see uh, how much battery it takes to make a full pot of coffee. So that draws about 200 watts more than the toaster. All right, so our pot of coffee is done. It took about 11 minutes. It's not the fastest brewing coffee pot in the world, but you can see we're still at 93% battery life. So that's pretty good. All right, here's the moment that Sierra has been waiting for. Uh, we've had this air fryer sitting around and haven't been able to use it because this thing trips our 2000 watt gas generator like immediately. So uh, we haven't even been able to use this thing. So uh, we're, I'm pretty curious to see uh, what it does. Let's get it start. Yeah. And this thing draws a lot. So you can see it draws 1,750 watts about, and it'll run that continuous for two hours. But looks like uh, the air fryer's in business here. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing is, is obviously you're not running all your kitchen appliances nonstop all the time, right? It's gonna be until this is done making whatever food you're making. Um, so I'm insanely impressed that it hasn't even dropped below 90% yet. Uh, it probably will by the time this is done. But um, keep in mind too that we're gonna have this charging from solar panels as well. Uh, so we're not gonna, it's not like we're gonna be sucking power out of this thing. We'll still be putting power back into it as well, so. Okay, so we ran the air fryer for about five minutes. We weren't making anything, um, but as you can see, it, it, drop, it didn't drop all that much. So it runs the air fryer, no problem which is nice because air fryers draw a lot, as you guys saw. And like I said, our gas generator doesn't even run it. So um, that's pretty sweet. So now we're gonna do the ultimate test with the EcoFlow Delta Pro. This thing's wired up um, with our solar system so I can plug it in uh, to one, one cord and it'll run the entire cabin. So uh, we're gonna plug this thing in um, so it'll be running the whole cabinet. We're going to go on and flip everything on. We're going to flip on the TVs. We'll plug a bunch of stuff in. We'll plug our phones in. Uh, maybe run an appliance or something and uh, we'll see how well this thing does. Okay, so the way our place works here is this cord right here comes from the gas generator outside. And then this plugs up into our all-in-one um, inverter charge controller. And uh, so, so this is how I can charge the batteries. Um, from the gas generator and the generator can also run the whole entire cabin but we're going to run it all, all off the solar generator right now so I grabbed another cord we'll plug it in I'll unplug the gas generator and plug this in to the Delta Pro okay so right now we have everything in the cabin on every lights on you can see our yard lights on here Every light inside the cabin, the Wi-Fi routers in are plugged in, Sears laptops charging here. So the main reason why I really wanted the EcoFlow Delta Pro is for this reason right here. Uh, this, this right now is not only running the entire cabin, but it's also charging our batteries for our solar power. Um, normally I have to do that with the gas generator, but you know, messing with gas, oil, doing oil changes on the generator. Um, it doesn't want to start or run very well when it's 40 below, of course. It's a major advantage for off-grid living that you can have this inside your cabin and charge your solar batteries if you have that, or just run the entire cabin off of this separately. Um, if this wasn't charging the batteries right now, uh, this thing would run, you guys saw what it, how long it would run the fridge, how long it would run uh, kitchen appliances. This thing on its own would run the cabin for a couple days probably just fine uh, maybe even longer because the fridge like i said doesn't run continuously you know when that gets up to temp it'll shut off so um that's the major advantage of this and i think that's why if you're looking to design a solar power system for your cabin or your whatever your, your rv or, or van or whatever you uh, have going on definitely look into this product because everything is done for you it's silent 
um, no gas or oil to mess with at all, and it has all of the protection that you need for it. So you're good to go with just this. So you guys saw that it'll charge our batteries for our solar and all that just fine. Um, but let's see, I'd be curious to see what it does with the vacuum now. So this will run the vacuum continuously for six hours at 85%. I typically use a lot of cordless power tools. You know, I just charge the batteries, but I do have some corded power tools. So let's see how the belt sander does. Five hours straight of sanding is a lot of sanding. So there you have it, as you guys saw. The EcoFlow Delta Pro is uh, more than adequate to, to run an off-grid cabin. You should be able to run um, a few things at your house if you have a power outage um, for quite a while. Would be perfect for an RVer, van lifer, uh, whatever you're doing. Um, this thing gives you quite a bit of power for uh, quite some time. So uh, if you guys are looking to go off-grid, looking to size an off-grid system, in my opinion, I would really highly consider going this route uh, and at least uh, having this be a part of your system. Um, like I said, if you don't want to use this as your primary source, it's just nice to have as a backup. Uh, you know, Sierra and I, as you guys saw, this thing will charge our batteries just fine on cloudy days. It'll run everything we need um, just perfect. So, um, in my opinion, this thing is uh, an absolute game changer when it comes to off-grid living.